let's get to it. So straight off on the level Insanity Peak for the Red Gem. You'll get to this section with these disappearing boxes and you'll want to jump counterclockwise. You'll hear a little audio cue on each box that you land on. Work your way around the outside and then use the middle section as the final platform and boom, the Red Gem will appear. Now onto the green gem. This is on the level hit the road and the final section where engine gives you chase. Get into the ball and when you first come out of the ball at the first checkpoint, you want to spin this bin on the left hand side. As you spin it, you'll find a little race car pops out and appears in the bottom right hand corner there. Now you spin this and a dumper truck comes out one of the other bins. Keep spinning away until that hits the nitro, and voila, the green gem will appear. That's naughty, that, isn't it? Now, the blue gem is a lot trickier and probably the hardest of all of the gems. So on the level, dragging on. To get the blue gem, you must complete this level and break zero boxes. Whilst you are allowed to die, this does mean that you're not going to have any checkpoints, um, which makes it super frustrating if you dive further through the level. However, there is a little workaround by going into the bonus, which we'll talk about shortly. I've left the full run through in here at normal speed, just in case you want to watch along if there's any particular sticking points for you. On some of the tricky areas, I will pipe back up and talk through it, but mainly it's quite straightforward in terms of jumping. This bit here, if you jump over the balcony on the right hand side, I did find that easier than trying to avoid the boxes. Now the biggest tip I can give for this levels, these levels, sorry, is just to take it slowly. If you're unsure, you don't need to take any risks at all. Wait for the dragons to do an extra lap, wait for these guys to hit the gongs an extra time. That's a tricky jump that catches a lot of people out. Just jump high, use the yellow circle, it's an absolute blessing in this game. And then cancel when you're over the boxes and use them as a platform instead. Now jumping over here, you do need to be mindful for the TNTs, especially if you're going for the three gong achievement. But jump over them, get past the lion, make sure they don't bounce you off the end of the map, because that happened to me quite a lot of times, and then keep going forward. Actually got the flashback tape for that one, because we haven't died yet. Don't die, don't die, don't die. This jump here, you see the design in the window frame, door frame, whatever you want to call it. Just try and hit it. It's the easiest way to avoid the boxes. Hit into the wall and then cancel the spin. Wait, wait. Sometimes I think you're my only friend. And then I realize... Go. So as discussed, we do have the bonus level coming up just past this bridge. Now, the bonus level, if you enter it and then die straight away without getting any boxes, that will create a checkpoint for you. Just don't do what I did later on and accidentally hit another box. What was worse, it was a checkpoint. That meant the bonus checkpoint was null and void and I had to restart the entire level. As you can tell, I was a bit distraught. No! But back to it. Heartbreaking. As you come out of the bonus level here, that has now created a checkpoint for you, so you can die as many times as you want. This effectively splits the level in half and makes this so, so much easier to get. Damn dragon. <laughs> Go. 
got very lucky with that jump there. And now you come to the final jump. Again, just be careful they don't bounce you into the boxes. And the blue gem will be waiting for you. On to the final yellow gem. And this is in Rudded Bayou. Probably the easiest of all the gems to get. Just at the bottom before you get on the jet ski. Because you can't get back off. Jump to the right and jump across these boxes. Wait for this moving platform. Slide across. Don't spin these boxes here. What you want to do is jump on top of them and then double jump and you'll find the yellow gem. So that is it. Looks a lot easier, particularly the no box level, because it can be super frustrating. But now you should have all of the coloured gems, which will unlock the relevant paths further down the line. So a massive well done. If this has been useful for you, please let us know. And if you've enjoyed the content or you want to come and watch the lives, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. All the best.